What's up? What's going on? What's good, everybody? The Boxing Sword checking in here, and this is a preview of Saturday's upcoming Fox pay per view telecast that will be over in Miami, headlined by the heavyweight bout between Luis King Kong Ortiz and Prince Charles Martin. Now, we got a uh, good amount of fights. That will be part of this card overall uh, there. This in the Miami area. This is uh, particularly in the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Uh, but we got about five fights. Uh, that will be on the pay-per-view uh, telecast uh, there. And all of them are pretty much in the heavyweight division. Uh, you got Victor Vickers versus Iago Kalazde. That's going to be part of the card. You got Gerald Washington against Ali Demarizan uh, on that card. You have the rematch between Jonathan Rice and Mike Coffey on that card. You also have Frank sanchez Fare taking on Christian Hammer, who is replacing Carlos Negron in this particular card. And then the headliner, Luis Ortiz versus Charles Martin. Now, uh, I want to get into, you know, a few of these uh, fights. Uh, you got that thing with... Uh, Victor uh, Verkris versus Iago Kalazde. Kalazde, you know, has the a record there of 27 wins, five losses, and one draw. Uh, Victor Verkris is uh, someone that, you know, resides over in Las Vegas, uh, but is from the Ukraine. Of course, you know about all the fighters there in the Ukraine and have come from the Ukraine and become, uh, you know, good professionals here. But you got a Victor here that has a record of 8-0. Uh, he is uh, fought in uh, this year a few times, uh, you know, uh, against Wilmer Vasquez, Jacek Piatek. Yes, that's right, Jacek Piatek. And Mike Marshall. And uh, he was able to uh, have uh, three wins there with two of those wins being stoppage victories. Uh, now he's going up against Thiago Calazde. Uh, Calazde uh, is, uh, you know, one of the more experienced uh, guys in the heavyweight division there uh, with a 27-5-1 record, uh, you know, residing in Los Angeles, California. But, you know, he's fought all uh, the likes of Effie, Jogba, Michael Hunter, Joe Joyce, Adam Kalnaki, and lost all of those guys. But he's here in this position fighting Victor Verkis. Um, and this is going to be an eight round bout that's scheduled for eight rounds. Um, uh, and I, I guess this is something where we kind of like see if Victor Verkis is, uh, going to uh, get past a fairly experienced guy, uh, there in Iago Kalazde, uh, as he's fought, you know, a few other guys, um, that have been, uh, various levels of experience, uh, but nothing to, you know, the level of fighters that Iago Kalazde has fought you know, up to this point. So uh, there with Victor Verkis, you're going to pretty much see uh, if he's able to handle himself against uh, someone that has uh, that type of experience there in Iago Kalazde. Now, the next thing up, uh, you know, that I want to talk about is the Gerald Washington fight against Ali Demarizan, right? Now you have, of course, Gerald Washington, a world title challenger, a did fall short in his bout against Deontay Wilder. Uh, he has also, you know, fought the likes of um, Robert Hellenius. He was able to defeat Robert Hellenius, uh, who defeated Adam Kalnaki uh, twice, especially uh, earlier this year, who, you know, Joe Washington did lose to. He did lose to uh, Adam Kalnaki, he did lose to Jarrell Big Baby Miller, and he also had a loss to the fighter that's in the main event, Charles Martin. Um, and so he's trying to, you know, get himself back into the hunt or back into the race here in the heavyweight division. Um, he has lost four of his last six fights, uh, you know, and that 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 fight against Alenius, man, that was a, you know, big win for him that he was able to get a stoppage win. Uh, he pretty much, you know, knocked out uh, Robert Alenius. Alenius was pretty much gas. So once he uh, hit the canvas, he was just way too tired uh, in order for him to, you know, try to get up, uh, there, but, uh, with Joe Washington here going up against Ali Demarizan, uh, Demarizan with a record of 14 and one, his lone loss was to F.A. Ajagba a couple of years ago. Uh, and he's kind of, you know, scored 
you know, a few decision wins uh, here up to this particular point after his loss to Fair Jogba. So this is kind of like a, I guess, like a crossroads fight uh, for both of these guys to see if, you know, Demarison is, you know, trying to see if he can continue his way up after a little bump of the road uh, there against Fair Jogba, or if Gerald Washington could get himself back into the hunt in the heavyweight division if he scores this win over Ali Demarizan. Now, next thing up for me is likely the fight that I'm looking forward to the most. The one that has, I would say, more on the line than people think. And that is Johnny Rice against Mike Coffey in a rematch uh, there. As you had Michael Coffey, uh, that was, you know, rising up there in the heavyweight division. Uh, had a couple of, you know, highlight reel knockouts, um, you know, in, in his uh, career. He had his, you know, stop his win over Joey Abel. Uh, he stopped Armani Rock uh, earlier this year. And then he faced Johnny Rice uh, over in Newark and, you know, was pretty much stopped. Uh, I think, you know, Johnny Rice kind of like, you know, walked through a lot of his punches and, you know, Mike Coffey wasn't able to take um, Johnny Rice's uh, pressure uh, there and he ended up getting stopped in five rounds. Now, here he is against Johnny Rice again and Johnny Rice knows that there's like a lot on the line uh, here for him in this particular bout. You know, I uh, think, you know, we kind of like talked about this a while ago in reference to uh, fights of this magnitude is that, you know, sometimes rematches happen because they kind of expected one particular fighter to win in the first fight and they didn't win that first fight. So they immediately have a rematch, you know, and I think this is the case here. But like I said, Johnny Rice has been putting in work. Uh, you've seen, uh, you know, a video on this channel uh, earlier, pretty much like last month, before he was fully in the camp for this rematch against Mike Coffey. Um, but, you know, uh, you do have uh, Johnny Rice here, who's fought the likes of F.A. Jogba, Dempsey McKean, uh, you know, Masao Sanchez, up to the point of fighting Michael Coffey. And uh, he, you know, he's there with the record of 14 wins, six losses, and one draw. And so, if he gets this win against Mike Coffey, that's going to say a lot in reference to where Mike Coffey is at this particular point of his professional career. And it kind of like, you know, puts Johnny Rice up there as someone that could be a viable opponent for, you know, a lot of these heavyweight contenders. So he really wants to win this particular fight. You know, I talked with Johnny Rice uh, uh, extensively uh, over in uh, Las Vegas and, you know, he's a you know, pretty good dude and all that cool dude. Um, you know, uh, he has, you know, a few things that, you know, he's trying to do out there in uh, Las Vegas. So, um, you know, he goes there back and forth, Vegas and uh, LA too. So, um, he, he's really, you know, getting himself, uh, focused in, uh, for this particular bout against Mike Coffey. Now we have in the cold feature bout, like I said, uh, you had Carlos Negron that was originally scheduled to be part of this card. Uh, they're going up against Frank Sanchez, uh, but, you know, he had to uh, withdraw due to, you know, testing positive, I think, for COVID. Uh, so now we have Frank Sanchez fighting Christian Hammer. Frank Sanchez is just coming off his victory over F.A. Jogba in the uh, Fury Wilder 3 undercard. Um, and so with him just going off that, and here he is like a few months later, right back in the ring. So he's trying to get back in it try to get his 20th professional win uh, there against Christian Hammer. Christian Hammer is a, you know, a veteran there. He's, you know, fought the likes of Tony Oka, Huey Fury, Luis Ortiz, um, Alexander Povetkin, among others. Um, you know, kind of like been around the heavyweight division, like in the mid-level, like 15 to 25 uh, ranked in the heavyweight division, but not necessarily gotten to that point above that, you know, with his losses, like I said, to Bevec and to Luis Ortiz and to the likes of Tony Yoka. And recently he lost to Huey Fury. And I thought that was uh, pretty interesting because he had to um, withdraw from that Huey Fury fight because of an arm injury, you know? 
And so here he is, pretty much a few months later, right back in the ring as a replacement opponent, but still right back in the ring. And I mean, I guess they say that he's, you know, cleared the fight uh, here against Frank Sanchez. And Frank Sanchez, you know, is trying to get himself up there as far as like the top, you know, 15, top 10 uh, heavyweights out there, uh, you know, with his wins that he's had up to this particular point. So uh, this one here, you know, it might be something where uh, Frank Sanchez may be heavily favored, but, you know, we, we got to see how that uh, fight happens here between Frank Sanchez and Christian Hammer. Now we go to the main event. Luis King Kong Ortiz versus Prince Charles Martin, right? I, I see that this is a very, very, very interesting fight. Uh, you got, you know, Luis Ortiz, world title challenger, two-time, pretty much two-time world title challenger, falling short twice to Luis or uh, to Deontay Wilder, right? And you have Charles Martin the former IBF heavyweight champion of the world. He won the IBF title in a vacant uh, bout, you know, vacant title bout against Vasov Glaskov uh, over at the Barclays Center uh, in Brooklyn. And then his first defense was against Anthony Joshua. He pretty much got, you know, iced there against Anthony Joshua. Um, had a couple of fights after that. Then fought Adam Kalnacki in the Barclays Center and ended up losing by decision. But now he's starting to get himself uh, back up and back going. Had his key win over Gerald Washington last year. And it's under the tutelage of Manny Robles. Yes, the same Manny Robles that used to train former unified heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz Jr. And so, you know, I kind of like see a few improvements there from Charles Martin uh, up to this point in his professional career. Uh, but now he's going up against Luis Ortiz, a very experienced, uh, you know, Cuban fighter uh, there. Like I said, his two losses are only to Deontay Wilder. And this is a key fight for both guys because this could, you know, pretty much put these guys in position to probably, you know, say that they're deserving of a world title shot. Um, you know, Luis Ortiz has been pretty much there and as a contender for the WBC title for almost forever, it seems. And uh, here with Charles Martin, like I said, he's the former IBF heavyweight champion. There's a possibility that with the win, he could probably get himself right back into contention as a challenger for the IBF title, depending on what happens with that IBF uh, championship, as that is going to be involved in the rematch between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua. So uh, we got to see how that sorts itself out. But Luis Ortiz, Charles Martin as the headliner uh, there at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Uh, and it's going to be a, a key bout, a pivotal bout uh, there in the heavyweight division uh, with guys that are, you know, like I said, around that top 10, top 15 heavyweights. Uh, and so, you know, with everything that kind of like is trying to sort itself out in the heavyweight division, the winner of this fight will be waiting in the wings to say, hey, maybe I should be able to be put in position to fight for a world title, maybe in 2022 or maybe later on down the line, depending on what happens with the world titles. But that is the preview here from the Boxing Source on that card, January 1st. Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Fox Sports pay-per-view. Check it out. You know, go ahead and watch it if you can. Uh, but we'll have a lot more here on The Boxing Source. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. We would really appreciate it. Until next time, folks, I'm out. Peace.